in which seven people died. Now, imagine downloading a music album onto your laptop in a matter of seconds or an HD film in a few minutes. That's possible with the latest broadband technology. Today, Virgin Media is launching a new super-fast service, a move that will spark intense competition with rivals BT and Sky. But as our technology correspondent Rory Kethlin-Jones reports, there are fears that customers in the countryside will be left behind. The internet is accelerating. Virgin Media decided a super-fast car was the best way to illustrate the merits of its new high-speed broadband service. But why does anyone need 100 megabits a second any more than they need a Ferrari? We wondered what the killer application was going to be. It's the family. It's multiple use. It's downloading music at the same time as downloading a, a movie, at the same time as watching internet over the television, at the same time as gaming. All of that concurrent usage requires speed. BT is also racing to lay the fibre optic cables that will provide a much speedier network. Together with Virgin, they're promising to take Britain into the broadband fast lane. So the promise is that within a couple of years, more than half the country will have access to some of the fastest broadband speeds anywhere in the world. But where does that leave the rest of the country? Many people could be left struggling in the slow lane. Virgin says its service will reach 13 million homes, mostly in built-up areas, and BT's fast network will look similar. So in the countryside, villages like Ray in Lancashire won't be on the fast broadband map. Hello, my name's Christine. The farming grandmother who made this film has campaigned just to get standard broadband to her village, but she wants the fast version right now. If they don't do it to the countryside now, they never will. In the same way, they've never brought us a phone line connection, first generation broadband, they won't bring us next generation broadband. They'll just ignore us and we supply their water. How would they like it if we cut off their water supply? A speed gap is about to open up between the broadband haves and have-nots. The government says money from the BBC licence fee will help plug that gap. But for a while yet, some homes with a need for speed will have to wait. Rory Kathleen jones BBC News. And the time has just gone a quarter past six. Our top story tonight. Britain's major 